Hello. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Hope your day is going super. Welcome to our children's service. I just want to tell you, in case you don't know, that you've learned so much in the past weeks since we started this children's service. I'm sure you can say you've learned a lot about the Bible, but not just about the Bible, because the Bible is telling you about someone. So you've learned a lot about Jesus, Jesus, your father, right? So I'm super excited because your life is changing dramatically and you're not going to be like any ordinary child. You will be so special, super special. You have superpowers. Jesus. Okay, so get ready for the praise, the worship, the quiz. Tell me, tell me. I'm waiting for you to tell me. Yes, the lesson, the discussion, every part of it. Engage, put your attention and your focus because you will be so blessed. See you soon for the lesson. Bye. Today, are you ready to worship? I'm sure you are. Can you put your hand on your chest with me and say, I love you, Jesus? Can you make it louder and say, I love you, Jesus? I'm sure you love Jesus. Can you put your hands together with me as we worship together? Come on, let's go. Put your hands together. Yeah. I'm sure you love Jesus. So we're singing on how we love Jesus. together like this everybody come on come on come on come on as we love on you receive our love receive our love and as we shout your name receive our Receive our praises, say it, as we love on you, receive our love, receive our love, and as we shout woo, your name, Jesus, receive our praises, receive our praises, cause your name is high. Jesus, we make you bigger. We 
shout your name. Can you sing it with me? Say, we make you bigger. We shout your name. We make you bigger. We shout your name. Lift your hands and say, we lift you higher. We shout your name. We lift you higher. We shout your name. Hey, we make you bigger. Like this. And we shout your name. Can you do like this with me? We make you bigger. We shout your name. Now lift your hands up and say, we lift you higher. Hey, we shout your name. Jesus, we lift you higher. We shout your name. Hey, one more time. We lift you higher. We shout your name. We lift you higher. We shout your name. Now say we lift you. We lift you higher. We lift you. We lift you higher. Sing, we lift you higher. We lift you higher. We lift you higher, Jesus. We lift you higher. Can you lift the name of Jesus with your hands like this? Come on and jump with me. have the lesson for the week please listen carefully hello friends so the memory verse for today is from luke chapter 24 verses 25 to 26 and it goes then jesus said to them you foolish people you find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures wasn't it clearly predicted that the messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his glory and that is the memory verse for today. Keep watching. Stories of the Bible. The Road to Emmaus. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles, like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. 
and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen, he was alive. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to a village called Emmaus and talking about everything that had happened with Jesus. As they were talking, Jesus suddenly came and walked with them. Oh, hello. But God kept them from recognizing Jesus. Jesus asked them what they were talking about. The two men were very sad. One of them, whose name was Cleopas, said, you must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened there in the last few days. Uh. Jesus asked, what things? The men replied, the things that happened to Jesus. And they began to tell Jesus about everything that had happened to him. They told him that some women had gone to his tomb and said that his body was missing and that others had gone to see if it was true and saw that his body really was gone. Then Jesus said to them, You foolish people, you find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Uh, let me explain. Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. By this time, they were nearing Emmaus. Jesus acted as if he was continuing on. Hey, wait! But the men begged him to stay the night with them because it was getting late. Oh, okay. So Jesus went home with them, and as they sat down to eat, Jesus blessed the bread. Then he broke the bread and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened, and they recognized Jesus. It's yo! And at that moment, he disappeared. Where'd he go? The men said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he explained the scriptures to us? Come on! Then. And that hour, they made their way back to Jerusalem. They found the eleven and the others who were with them and told them their story. As they were telling their story, Jesus was suddenly standing among them. Well, that's all what happened. Yep. Ah! Everyone was frightened and thought he was a ghost. Okay, come on, guys. But Jesus showed that it was really him. He showed them his hands and feet, and they all watched him in awe. Then Jesus asked for something to eat. Oh, got anything to eat? And they gave him fish to eat. Oh, that's good. Jesus reminded them that everything happened as it was supposed to and helped them understand the scriptures. Then he promised to send them the Holy Spirit and told them to stay in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit would come and fill them with the power from heaven. Okay, boys and girls, this one is funny. So imagine talking to Jesus about Jesus. <laughs> Just because you don't know, it's Jesus. Huh? Like imagine talking, someone is talking to you about you. If you were Jesus, that would be so funny. <laughs> so Jesus goes, mm, tell me about it. <laughs> Jesus has humor. <laughs> that's not the lesson for today. I mean, that's not the moral of today's story. But I want you to know that Jesus has humor. Because he goes, "What? tell me what's happening. And they say, don't you know? Don't you know about what's happening? And he's like, tell me more. <laughs> oh, God. But he knows everything. So you see, I mean, you know, interestingly, God saying, he also says he likes to engage with us. You know, so even if Jesus knew everything, he still wanted them to talk to him. And then he ended up teaching them and opening their eyes. But I mean, I just feel like if it was Jesus, if I were Jesus, I would just be like, what's wrong with you? It's me. I'm here. It's me. But that's not how it goes. So Jesus loves to, loves for us to show our interest in spiritual things. 
he wants us to be very interested in the things that matter to him so if you remember in this in the story the jesus acted like he wanted to go further i tell you jesus is so funny <laughs> he acted like he was going to go you know when you you you're at your friend's place for maybe a sleepover and um you're about to leave and you know that you want to stay you want to stay an extra night and you just be like oh, okay bye guys and they say no stay you see that is interest that's hunger that's desire so jesus will always introduce himself reveal himself is the word open up himself unveil himself any word you want to use he will show himself to people who show interest so if you want to know anything about jesus what do you have to do show your desire to know just the same way when you're in school and you want to learn a new, maybe maths or you know you want to learn a new skill or you want to know how that game works you show interest do the same because as the as these two disciples decided to say no jesus stay we're interested in what you're speak you're saying to us we're, inter- we're interested in what you're sharing with us and guess what jesus stayed and this and and because he stayed longer what happened they knew more to the point where they knew jesus was alive so guess what what you two you two can know a lot about jesus how will that happen when you spend time and how will that happen when you show a desire in the things of god so like you're doing now on sunday children's service and everything show desire and god will reveal himself to you because whoever seeks him will find him i love you and have an amazing time bye hello friends how are you doing so it's quiz time here again and we have five questions here for you and they are taken from the book of luke chapter 24 verse 13 to 35 so be sure to read the bible passage after the lesson so let's get straight right into it the first question uh, the two disciples were prevented from recognizing who each other jesus the truth or paul and if you answer jesus then you are correct next question in verse 19 what did the disciples call jesus there are two answers for this question there are two answers for this question so the options are nazarene god prophet or chosen And if you answered Nazarene and God, then you are correct. Next question. There are also two answers for this question. Who handed Jesus over? Who handed Jesus over? The Jews, the rulers, the Romans, the chief priests. answer is the rulers and the chief priests next question what day after jesus's death does this take place according to verse 21 answer choices are the first day second day third day or the fourth day And if you answer the third day, then you are correct. And the last question is true and false. In verse 19, Jesus is said to have redeemed Israel. True or false? And the answer is true. Those are all the questions we have for you today. Have a nice day. Bye.